Okay. This is Arizona Gold Hunter here. We're going to melt some silver. We already did uh, almost a full ounce just a minute ago. I got my son recording. We're getting everything set up. What we want here for melting silver, and this took a lot of uh, figuring out, was that we want a neutral point. In order to get, achieve that, we need to draw the acetylene out until it stops smoking. So, we pretty much stop smoking there. We're gonna introduce the oxygen. And we're trying to draw a long feather so that we're basically even on oxygen and acetylene. And this is a neutral flame. And this is very good for melting silver. And it takes time. So we're going to start moving around. That's actually kind of uh, I'm lowering the acetylene amount because all of a sudden it was a carbonizing flame. I immediately am getting discoloration. I didn't like that. And I can lightly feather the throttle here in order to get a hotter flame. And I can also adjust get a hotter flame, but I want one of my feather. I think I'm running low on acetylene, so we gotta make this quick. I'm actually gonna have to use more of an oxidizing flame. I'm gonna have to break this down, melt it real fast. We've got a whole bunch of carbon on it. Burn it all off to work quickly. I'm almost out of acetylene gas, so About that. It's not going to be quite hot enough, but let's just use an oxidizing flame, get it done. We got about an ounce, maybe an ounce and a half, right here in the crucible. It's actually covered in carbon right now. You gotta cut through the carbon, get this melted up into a nice uniform metal. And this is pure silver after a refining. Normally I would be moving this torch around a lot, but hitting the metal hard so that it melts faster and I'm also trying to burn off the excess carbon that I just left behind because of the carbonizing flame. So I'm actually going to use cutting power here. I don't want to blast any of my material out and I'm already losing a little bit. This is why you want your cement silver completely dry. You don't want water in it if you can avoid it. Okay, I'm back. Water creates Oopsie. gas. Gas creates pops. Pops create loss of material. 
So I'm just going to work this one side because I'm already going to liquid. There we go. Everything's starting to come into liquid mode. It's getting hot. We're losing some. Jordan. I see that right there. It's cool. I'm gonna zoom in, guys. We're hitting that 2,000 degrees. You can see everything's starting to shrink. Everything shrinks. All this wet cement silver is starting to shrink. Move quick because running out of gas. Here you go, you can have them. So I'm using the throttle on the, the cutting torch to increase the oxygen to get the temperature a little bit higher, get everything moving along a little faster.